I'm sorry, what did I miss? <laughs> what was that? Hey, what's up, Draven Days? How you doing? Whoa. Uh, well, that's, there's a lot of settings options here. I like it. Ew, visceral. I missed something bloody gross. Did you know that everyone has special powers and they kept it a secret from me my entire life? What? But I won't stand for that. That's why I made a helmet. I call it machine that lets me read people's minds when I want to. <laughs> or single pump. But something happened when I put it on. It didn't let me read people's minds, but it did let me see something else. A world that was hidden from me that everyone knew about. A world hidden in plain sight with all sorts of animals and creatures and dead bodies. There are catacombs hidden under every public government building. I will not allow any more secrets to be kept from me. I'm sorry, we're supposed to be relaxing and playing fun and interesting games. What is this? You're a bit bored, Draven? Sorry to hear that, buddy. What the hell? Uh... I... What is this? Hello? Oh! You're in the world. Use WSAD to move. Q and E to strafe. Shift to sprint. Whoa. Okay. There's a key. Items are important to many things. Pick up an item, choose the touch mode of interaction, and click on the item. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hello. Can't, can't use this. Okay. <laughs> Hello. You can talk to people and do other things with them too, though they may lie to you in many ways. Hi. The girl doesn't make you think anything one way or another. You feel she's polite for being that way. Hello. I can't take it. It's only going to get worse and worse. Touch. Her hair is cold and rough, like hair would be on a night like tonight. You wonder how it tastes and have to hold back from finding out. Excuse me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Why would I want to know how it tastes? What's this? Is that water? Hello. An unknown syringe with a bright red fluid in it. Interesting. What have I gotten myself into? I don't know. Whoa, that's a big door. Hello. Good work, keep going. There's so much work to be done. I mean, you can hold control to look around freely. Whoa. Hello, doggy. It's a small white dog. Might be feral. Nothing else out of the ordinary. Woof. 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 Ah! 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 Don't idle here. You have much to do. Don't worry, but there's a plan for everything. I'm sure you'll see you do my time, my friend. What is that? What is that? I'm going to touch you. Ground beef feeling. <laughs> the dog has bloomed wonderfully. Go to the sewage treatment. Some tips are outright, right, outright lies. All food you've ever eaten is rotten. You have never tasted fresh food. It's not hard to enter a public building. The buffoon who enter, invented locks and windows has never heard of a hammer. Oh, I have a hammer. Okay. That's a safe thing for someone like me to own and possess. Uh... 
Water treatment, human waste being processed and cleaned made acceptable for consumption again. Chemicals being added to chemicals to remove chemicals. If water treatment is for safety and concern, why is there an elevator heading straight into human waste? What could be hidden down there? That's a good question. And if it's such a big secret, why is it so easy to go down there? Sick bastards. Okay. Don't go down the poop shit! I don't have a... Oh, it's a woman! Oh, she's cute. She's absolutely insane, though. I have a feeling she wants to murder everything. Okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, okay. I need to go all the way down. Or go down this way. Hello? Hi. Hello. You're so happy. The double stock thing looks at you with all its eyes. It seems to beckon you. My, aren't you a cute one? Say, isn't there nothing better than being tangled up? Would you like to be tangled up? You try to touch the stock thing, but it grabs your hand. You just barely manage to pull your hand free at the last minute. Oh god! Oh, that was hurting me! Whoops! Oh! I didn't realize I had a health bar! <laughs> Ipsy poopsy! What the hell? I'm gonna continue. Okay. Shouldn't have gotten tangled up with it, chat. My bad. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I hammer it. Do I want to be hammering living things? Probably not, right? Sounds like a bad idea. Hmm. Shut up. Might not be fully sentient, so it's okay. And that's psychopath talk, fully. <laughs> Control scheme in this game is bizarre. Sure, if this is supposed to be a horror game or just disturbing, but I'm here for it. Okay, we're not going that way. I, you know what? Hang on. What's down this pipe? I'm leaving you alone. Oh. Just making sure it's not following me. <gasps> oh! What? Hammer! 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 <laughs> Okay. I hammered it. You guys hear that, right? The wall looks a little worse for wear. Talking to the wall will not do you any good. Can be awful conversation. Touch it. Wrap your knuckles against the wall. It rings out a bit more hollow. Oh! I am so sorry! Oh! I think I heard it. I mean, I, th I think I killed it. Hello? Woo, it's a key! Dude, I... <laughs> Find an emerald key. Okay. When walls moan, I tend to go the other way. Meanwhile, I use a hammer. What is this? I 
feel like I just woke up the other day for the first time. I have memories before Sunday, but it feels so hazy. So much less vivid. I feel so awake now, so real. I just can't stop smiling. Something good has happened. It's happened. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, hello. You got the hammer in space rings? Hell yeah. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hi. I visited a church. How do I use it? Oh. Okay. What is that? Hello. Hi. The straight woman's eyes look angry, but mostly tired. Mm -hmm. Ah, you startled me. This holy place been overrun by those sparkly eyed freaks. I can barely do anything to keep them away. Mm -hmm. Touch. You reach out to playfully yank her hair, but she doesn't let you. She's mean. Why would she do that? Um. Mm -hmm. Uh. Is there anything I could do to help? You're kind of cute. In a, I want to pet your ears kind of way. Huh. Weird. A hole in the wall here. Huh. Okay. Sorry. Well, let's let's move on. I don't think there's anything else for us here. Oh, uh, I need to take the stairs. You love the old cr dungeon crawler experience this is giving off? This is a bizarre game. But I'm weirdly enthralled. Like, this is the creation of a mind. <laughs> you know? Oh, we're back here. Okay. back. We're going up here this time. Should we kill this guy? I'm going to kill this guy. He's he's evil. He's got the same mask as the other one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't trust it. Oh, there's a syringe in there. I don't trust him. <sighs> Do people want me to keep playing? Genuinely? Yeah. I give I give you the option to tell me to stop now. Why is there blood here? Wall looks a little worse for wear. Oh. Hello. 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 Pseudo two dimensional. You might think that you're in pain, but I've been here a lot longer than you. Eventually, it'll all become quiet. Return to symbols. Feels like paper and wetness. You kind of like touching the symbolic man. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I apologize. This doesn't make any sense. I can't wrap my head around it. All measurements, gravity, trajectory, mass are all consistent with a planet noticeably smaller than Earth. There's no way that Earth lost mass, did it? And what of the Earth that now hangs in the sky? It too looks like our, just like our planet, but far smaller, closer in size to a moon. I don't see how you can deny all this. Your claim that all of this is simply caused by equipment failure or operator error is absurd. I understand the desire to be skeptical and I respect what you've done for me over the years, but at some point we need to start looking at what is directly in front of our faces. You're in denial of the situation we have found ourselves in. Signed. Me. 
People actually liked my... Other than... So at the beginning of mouthwashing, my voice acting was super silly and stupid. And people were like... Meh. But then towards the end, apparently my voice acting actually made a few people cry when I was voice acting Swansea and Curly. Which is... Nice? <laughs> you know, it's a hell of a compliment. Apparently I can put a lot of life into my voice acting. Don't worry, Dave. Don't worry about it. Hello. Oh, it's more of these guys. Hi. You kind of look like Scully's uh, avatar. The freight woman stares back at you, suspicious of your intention. Mm -hmm. Watch your step wayward. This bridge is out. I've been throwing rocks into this chasm for hours, and I haven't heard one hit the bottom. Can I touch you? Reach your hand out to touch your face, but the freight woman bats away your hand, shooting you an accusatory stare. I want to touch you. Okay. Hi. The freight woman is old, but her eyes are still alert and aware. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was young, we would run around these stone halls. Uh, they were so beautiful. Can you imagine that? It seems so long ago, but I remember the smell of fresh air. Can I touch you? Great woman backs away from your touch. God damn it, I want to touch one of you. Well. Down we go. I don't know what to do now. We don't have any items that would help us with this. No. Oh. oh, this is the settings menu. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I just moved it off my monitor and onto another one. And I don't know where it is. You guys can still see it. I can Where, where did it go? Um. Uh oh. It's like on a monitor that doesn't exist. Oh my god, I restored it. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank god I know a whole bunch of Windows shortcuts, dude. Otherwise, that would have been the end of this playthrough. Ah, where'd it go? <laughs> god damn it! This isn't maximized. Ah! <laughs> Stupid! Okay, hang on. This is not ideal. <laughs> it's got black bars now. Um, I have just absolutely nailed this, haven't I? Um, hmm. Is there a way for me to, like, close the game? No? Hang on. <laughs> Why'd you click it again? Well, because it's not full screen. It's not, like, fully full screen. Let me see if I can get it working again. Hopefully I can continue. There's a lot of achievements in this. Like, I don't know how, how far back it will reset me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip. 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 Whoa. Oh, this is what I missed last time, huh? Well, that's slightly disturbing. I see what you mean by visceral. What mods are there? No mods. Oh, okay. Continue. 
Oh, son of a bitch. We have to do this all again? But we got so far. We might need to leave this for another day. I hate doing stuff over again. This game is fascinating, but man, that sucks. <laughs> but I want to keep playing. Well, you know what? We'll give it one more try. We'll give it one more try, okay? I have faith. Thank you, Helen. This is like a fascinating trip through the human psyche. <laughs> continue. Bonk. 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 Yeah. Get bonked, mother bonker. Yeah, mother bonker. Yeah. Bonk. All right. I wonder how we get past that bridge part. We haven't figured that out yet. It's very strange that when we pick up that key, it doesn't appear in our inventory. What is that key for? I know it said the key for the mind. Our suspiciously red wall. But what does that mean? Does anybody have any ideas? Does any has anybody ever heard of this game? Anybody ever heard of this game? Is this like new for everyone in here? Because this is fascinating. Let's have another brief look around here. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. I think this guy's just, or this girl, sorry, is just chilling. Her little tail. Yeah, wiggly, wiggly little thing. Yeah, she play this game every day? Ah, of course you do, Zach. Yeah. I don't think this is a game you'll be playing in your own time, Ava. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion. I've had the weirdest headaches recently. It's like a headache that feels like someone's compressing the front and the back of my head together. It's not a migraine. Migraines are very different for me. I've never had a headache like it before, and it passes fairly quickly. So I don't know what it is. Neck tension? I don't know. I I've never had them before. I have no clue. Oh, yeah, hang on. Almost forgot about this one. <laughs> Big wall! Get, get smacked! Hello, Mr. Two-Dimensional Man. Hello. Just talk to you real quick again. Before I head down here and grab these. Can I go forward? No. Okay. Should I hit this guy? He's friendly. I don't want to hit him. I don't want to hit him. I don't, I'm not going to hit him. You know what? Murder is not okay unless something is trying to murder you first. And then it's okay. 
because it's not murder, it's self-defense. Okay, we made it back here fairly quickly. So what is the deal with this? Something we've missed. That'll let us do something with that. We don't have any keys or anything though. Oh, we're under the water. Can you save? I've not found a way to save. You can Google it. Google cycle pump how to save. Maybe we should go back to the church and talk to the woman now that we've killed all the weird mask things. She might have an answer for us. I'd explain why a shortcut opened up. You love the footstep sounds, right? Says it all saves when you get through a level. So I have to get through an entire level then. Okay. Hey. Um. Okay. I am confused and lost and concerned. Talk to the statue, but it feels a bit embarrassing to do so. The kind of concrete you want to lick, full of textures and holes. This girl is interesting. <laughs> okay, I guess our quest continues. Anybody have any ideas for what we could do here? Did we go down here? We did not. Hello. Yeah, we don't have a key yet. All right, we figured it out. We figured it out. All right, okay. What is that thing? Who? Why was there a giant tongue with an eyeball on it? Nugget looks at you in a peasantly way. Oh, it's simply so fun to live off of human waste. We funnel human byproduct into our queen, who in turn replicates the raw material into flesh and milk for us. You regret touching the nugget. Your hands are covered in a greasy slime now. Okay. There's a queen, evidently. Oh, hello. More health. Uh, let's go this way first. This way looks fun. I might regret going this way. Hello. Hi. Oh, you're so happy. 
Hello, Mr. Happy Boy. It's moving around in a way that really pisses you off. <laughs> my key, my special key. My queen gave it to me. My special love gave it to me. If anyone ever took it, I'd explode. I'd be so mad. It almost instantly wriggles out your grasp against dancing again. Sorry, little buddy. I need it. Oh, he wasn't kidding. He, he, was, he wasn't kidding. He was so mad he exploded. Whoops. <laughs> Well, <laughs> shucks. Oh no. <laughs> I feel so bad. I mean, he did warn me. We probably should have killed him before he could explode. But, you know. Hi. Uh. I think that might be the wrong door. Okay. I think the other door was purple, wasn't it? Hello, little buddy. You just stay right there. Yeah, this door is purple. Okay. Hi! Oh no, oh no, why are you so big? Hey, her farm has taken up the entire room, swollen from years of gestation and propagation. After all this time, look at that lovely smile. Oh, he... Is it time for me to go? You place your hand on the queen's forehead. It feels cold and glassy like porcelain. The royal nugget looks at you with an air of slimy confidence. <laughs> Heavy is the crown. The guillotine has been set since before the queen was born. It will be set for many generations of milk babies like her to come. You regret touching the nugget. She was a good queen. However, like all good queens, she must eventually be recycled. Do us a favor and use those hands of yours to get the job done. Okay. Alright. I guess we're recycling the queen. We're doing her a favor, right? We're setting her free from her life of constantly being bred and making milk and flesh. I just realized these are hearts. There's the aorta valves. Okay. You sure like touching things in this game? Well, it, if it gives me the option to touch, I'm gonna touch, right? I like touching. Touchy, touchy, touchy. Hello. Oh, wrong one. Ah! Hello? Hello? Oh. Interesting. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Weird random bit of granite there. The music in this game is something, isn't it? Got the bridge. We fixed the bridge. Nice. Okay. Progress. <laughs> I think. It's hard to tell what in this game is progress and what is just. Well, the game. <laughs> you know? Is there like a lever hidden here? No. Oh, we're back here. Oh, fascinating. Okay.
Uh, should we ask? Ah, you know what? No. no. Pretty sure she's just going to say the same thing. We need to head back to the bridge area. I hope the queen won't be mad that we didn't recycle her. You know? Because, um, I don't know how. <laughs> oh! Were we meant to kill the queen with the hammer? Is that what they meant by res- I hope she isn't upset with us that we didn't. Hey. Hello. The bridge was raised, but there's nothing over here. I'd hope there may be food here to bring to my village. But I suppose it was just a pipe dream. All that is here is a lousy, rusty lever. Can I touch you now? No. Okay, sorry. I like touching. I want to pet the dog. Can I pet that dog? Uh. Okay. Can I touch you now? Touch. This is an experience. Oh, what? Oh, she's not there. Okay. I like how chat is dead quiet because nobody knows what to say. I don't blame you. I don't know what to say either. Uh, is it this? No. Wait. Yes. Wait, no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Absolute bizarre experience. Uh, is it this way? I suck. At directions, I don't know where I'm going. I think I meant to go this way. What's purple and red tubes? Purple is stamina, red is health. I walked off for like 30 minutes, so completely lost and not even trying to comprehend it. If it makes you feel better, Enverath, we're also completely lost and trying to not to comprehend it. I don't think this is a game where you understand anything. But maybe that'll change. Mayhaps we will find something new in ourselves in this experience. So happens to be a great here. Okay. That's great. Great for the great. I love that the character on the bottom left, the little face, is perpetually got the like scared or stressed sweat coming out of her eyes. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest. If you guys can watch me play this game, I'm pretty sure you'll watch me play anything. Who wants me to play Majora's Mask? Where was the purple door? You'd watch Majora's Mask? It's been like 18 years since I last played it. Don't know what that game is. It's The Legend of Zelda. I swear to God, the purple door was down here, right? No. I've never gotten past the water temple. That's why I want to play it again. Try for all the masks or just running through? Uh, I don't know, Jay. I don't know if I'm smart enough to do all the masks. Ah, here's the purple door. I feel like I went the long way around for this. 
Oh, they're gone! What is that? You got an egg of the earth. What? What? It's a Zygo. Oh, God, she's not... She's way too happy about this. Uh, Ava, you can... You, you don't have to be here all the time, you know. Call. Real world trip. Scientists have discovered that humans from 100,000 years ago featured a holy orifice in the head no longer presence. They believe this orifice disappeared after the Crusades. Anyone got any numbers that you want me to call? 6666? <laughs> Have you noticed there's no zero on this? 118? Nope. Okay. Sanity medication hurts your health. There's at least one biocomputer mainframe stored in every public government building. Okay. Transient location? What is this? The real JFK's then aborted fetus was found by the Department of Justice in 2006. What? <gasps> We're in the village. Do we get. Are we going to be able to pet a three? I want to pet a three. They're so cute looking. Hello. Hi! Do I keep my items for Yes, I do. Go. Hi! The three woman looks very hungry, but more than that, she looks worried. Food has been hard to come by. We have to go out searching, and sometimes those who go looking don't come back. It's impossible to raise livestock down here. If you find any food, please bring it here. Sure. Do I touch her face? No. Hi! Great woman looks you up and down, distrust. Our village was forced down here after all the humans appeared on the surface. It's horrible. This is our home. And to call this place our world Earth makes me sick. I still can't touch her. God damn. Can't go in there. Oh, hello! You're tiny! The third child's no older than two years. Yesterday I ate a rat. It was real gross. Everyone tells me you used to eat all sorts of stuff, and now it's just rats and old hamburgers. You tried to pat the third child, but it lightly growls at you, showing some small but sharp teeth. We need to find food for these guys. I feel bad. Hey, anyone got anyone spare some food? Oh, it's the 2D guy. It's like a symbol for him. Hello. You got nice eyes. Everyone looks you up and down, trying to figure out exactly what you are. Up on the surface the other day, I saw a human get hit by a car. Everything inside of them spilled out. Nothing but dust and clay. We tried to poke her in the eye, but the threat woman shoots you a look that makes you stop. Why would I poke her in the eye? What is wrong with this child? I don't even know if this is a child. Hello. Oh. Can I touch it? No. Hello. The third woman looks just tired and stressed, most likely due to her environment. These concrete walls have gotten smaller. It pains me to see the child trapped this deep under a sickly blue sky. The third woman shies away. At least I didn't try and poke you in the eye. Let's get out of here. Oh. Dude, this place is weird. We need to find these guys some food. That's my goal now. I don't know what this game is all about. I don't know what the deal is with this game. My only goal is to find the three people food. That's it. That's all I want now. I think that's a good goal. And not old hamburgers or rats. Actual food. All right. Uh, children's hospital. 
A man claiming to be God appeared on American soil in 1965. He was immediately shot down by the CIA. John McCain was quoted saying, we got him. Okay. Is it weird that I find the psycho woman cute? <laughs> is that, is that strange? Should I be concerned about my tastes? Children's hospitals have the same smell to them. It's a clean smell that somehow makes you want to vomit, like a mixture of bleach and Elmer's glue. I love it. Doctors will always smile at you when they say they cannot help you. Give them the copay and die more as they tell you you aren't full of cancer and aren't full of incurable illnesses. You're only sick once. You're only sick once? What? <laughs> That's dark. Is this a cancer unit? What the hell? Hospitals feel like the safest place to me, even though I know they aren't. They're the least safe place. A place that will swallow you whole and give you a disease. A place that will cut you open and make others feel good about it. And through it all, the elevator is there. I can smell it. That smell of rust and petrol breaking through the clean hospital smell. The doors are wide open, waiting for me to enter. I don't know what Titan AE is, Jay. What is Titan AE? Hello. A movie? Is it a good movie? Okay, before we go down here, this indeterminable darkness. It's a really good movie. Okay. I don't trust those squares. Hi. The nurse looks at you through an eyeless void. You know, she just knows she's thinking about me. Welcome to the lower wing. Here we help preserve the most important individuals of humankind, both in honor of their contributions and as a sign for the rest of humanity to follow. The nurse feels dry and warm to the touch. She really cares about you. Aww. That's like the only person who cares about me. Aw, that makes me feel all warm inside. Hi. Cleopatra is before you. She moves and shapes in an ambitious, dangerous way. There is nothing better in life than having people think you're helping them. Popularity is absolutely key when moving forward. If you play your cards right, anything seems necessary. A massacre, a young girl with a slit throat, the dissolution of a people, a crushed slave revolt. They do it all for you if you don't have it. Catch. You get no pleasure from touching Cleopatra. Hey, nice one, Flip. Congratulations. Hello. Oh. Alexander the Great is before you. He quivers and slops in a violent way. There's nothing greater in this world than the feeling of battle. To conquer and be conquered. To feel that warm slick on your hand. Wouldn't you agree? I would do anything to feel another man's blood again. Oh my god, hello. Hi, you have a name tag. She's very proud of her special name tag. Yeah, a special name tag. As thanks for their contributions to society, our patients are surrounded by the most favorite things in life. We'll never get booked. Sorry, honey, I need to be guard. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I needed the key card. Hey, you're still happy for me, right? Yeah, she still cares about me. Okay, good. access only. Oh, I, I have a... I have a shirt. Hello. Hey. You feel a plump kind of love coming from you. We've nourished our patients so well. Look how plump and happy their bodies have become. I'm so proud of them.
Uh oh. Did I did I do bad? Hang on. There, uh, I want to keep going. There's a secret door, but. Before I go this way, I want to go through the secret door. Hello. Uh. Recently uncovered texts reference two enigmatic figures Queen of Venus and King of Mercury. Several ancient textiles depict these beings creating the heavenly bodies and weaving the universe. The names seemingly refer to two fictitious planets, Venus and Mercury respectively, which it held dominion over. It's as though these figures acted as a subject of worship. However, their descriptions and depictions within the textiles match no known religions or cultures. Venus and Mercury are fake? Huh? Sorry, buddy. Hello. <clears throat> Hello? It's a cochlea, an important part of the human ear. I used to be a number cruncher for a big corporation. It was so boring and awful. A boring businessman. Then I got extensive surgery to be a free-floating cochlea, and I've never been happier. The cochlea feels sensitive and receptive to sound. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm going deeper and deeper into someone's hell. Brain scan. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hello! Perfection. Now that's hard. We gotta strive for it though. After all, perfect patients need perfect parasite? The study of neo parasites is very important to us. Parasites are some of the most efficient creatures on the planet. New parasite was developed from the body of a young teacher in Berlin. Take squirms and burbles between the faces of the wall. I paid to be surrounded so snuggly. The wall's made of faces. The tick is simply happy to respond in any meaningful way, so it just gurgles in delight. You can't reach the tick to touch it. You have a feeling I might grab you if you try. It's hard to turn a human into a parasite. Most people never want to be a parasite. That's why our brain's filled with dopamine 24 7 to keep her chugging, and it works. Uh. Okay. Okay. This is a game. This is a. This. A game, this is B. Our game is. Have uh, fun, Mr. Cochlea. Glad your, glad your surgery went so well. We gotta get past the stabby stabs. Moves and shake outdoors anyway. Ah, uh, it's really great to get outside every once in a while. Make sure you're going outside. If you're not doing that, you're practically killing yourself. I need your key card, honey. Sorry. Right. Hello. Why do you sound like children? You must understand, nutrients and meat are siphoned from hospital patients from around the world to keep our VIP guests alive. It might seem brutal, but I bet you never even noticed it until now. The fact that there's a key here 
makes me think I missed something in here. Okay. Let's just keep going, yeah? This way. You guys hear that? Okay, this leads us back here. Let's make sure there's nothing else here that we need to do before we head down the other side. Okay, I guess we're going to head down the other side. However, there are 48 people watching this. Fifty-two. Oh, did it go up? Uh, okay. Let's go down the other side. There can only be happy dreams and smiles down that side, right? 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 What the hell? Beautiful night, isn't it? it? Makes me feel a lot better to know when I look at the moon, someone is looking back. Okay. Sure. Lots of stabbies. Um... Okay. <laughs> that thing was tough. Hi! Oh, you have the key card I need. I'm so sorry. Each and every one of these small rooms houses an important figure. Once the patient has grown enough, they'll be moved to the main room up above. I'm so sorry. I, I need your card. <laughs> hey, Vancraft. How you doing? in here, huh? Alright. Decent. Sore back from sitting like a prawn all day painting, though. That's a good point. I need to stretch. Oh, thank you, Van. Stretching is good for you. Oh, we, we, we did it. You got the egg of the earth. Okay. Um. God, she's cute. That's level two. Don't put your dick in crazy, Icy. Don't put your dick in crazy. That's rule number one. <laughs> Let's go to the public school. Real world tip. Inanimate objects feel pain. Make sure to hit them against things as hard as you can. They deserve it. Okay. Nothing horrible can happen in a public school, right? When you sleep inside a school, you learn new things. When I sleep inside a school, I taste new things. Okay. Oh, no, 
what's in here for us before we go that way. Keep that smile going. place where they put the loud kid oh huh that's dark <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> that's something I never understood about schools put a bunch of kids together make them sit down shut up and keep their heads down and they're not allowed to talk or interact with each other that is not a good way to learn It's just, it seems cruel, almost. Red room. Red room. Over there. Through the smell of pencil wood and erasers, I can smell something new. A thick and iron smell, I'm getting closer. It's training for the future dead-end jobs? Yeah. It's just weird. Before I go down there, because I'm pretty sure this is... Hang on. The elevator's down this way. I can feel it even if I can't see it. Okay. Before I go down there, I want to see what's in the other corridor. I didn't think I was going to be 100%ing this game today, but, you know. Dead end. I look into each of the classrooms. There's only the nerve cell clusters sitting at each of the desks. I close my eyes tightly, and I think I might be at the other side of the school. Welcome to my factory. I trust you'll find your own way around here. Okay. There's purple over there. Why are there posters of me? This is the main factory floor. I know this is a bit much to ask, but there's a machine surrounding my head. One that will smash it into a fine putty. We go turn off the safeguard so that the machine will turn on? The metal man twitches and stares at the gears with a sense of lust. All right, Mechanicus. Having a factory under an elementary school is so pragmatic, wouldn't you agree? It affords us so many opportunities we wouldn't have otherwise. This is something I learned about recently, and I think other people might find this as fascinating as I do. There is a school. I think it's a school. Someone's going to have to clarify this for me. There is a school with an oil rig inside it. In America. I think it's either America or Australia. How crazy is that? Can someone Google that real quick and confirm that for me? But it's insane. Jesus. Texas Tech. It's so... Could you imagine? Hello. Medallion man shatters his teeth when a crusher smash into the floor. Oh, you made it through. That's the sign of a good worker. A good worker doesn't follow safety protocols and does not die when doing so. university though oh okay those are teeth these are teeth why are there teeth <laughs> but only man stands in place it smells of enamel this is where we make the parasitic enamel once mature the enamel will be applied to the teeth of the children up above and will learn new things from the words they speak this information is fed to a generative model which will then use it to create new lessons for the children. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it. Is the head of production trying to kill himself again? Let me guess. He sent you here so you can crush his skull. Not gonna happen, dumbass. Get, don't call me a dumbass. Don't call me a dumbass. <laughs> it's like um, Hancock, where he has that one trigger word. What, what was it for Hancock? Was it asshole? Hancock didn't like being called an asshole. <laughs> he killed anyone who calls him an asshole. Yeah. I haven't watched Hancock in ages. That movie was interesting. Although apparently I need to watch... What was the other one that I need to watch, chat? Sorry. T T T Titan AE. What is, what is Titan AE about? I'm not just desperately trying to get people to engage with me right now. I'm actually genuinely not. I'm curious because... Titan AE makes me think of like a Titan accident in an emergency room, which is fascinating. Yeah, Hancock's the superhero one. Hello. Oh man, things about cool things in the future. This is my favorite building or factory. When a small child has outlasted their use, we melt them down into slag and turn that into new butter knives and egg slicers. Thank you, Ava. Sounds interesting. Those are egg slicers. Hello. Oh, let you buy to shut down a safeguard so you can crush the head of the factory? You gotta be stupid to think. Stop calling me a dumbass! These people never learn. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Now we can go see the head of the factory, right? Is that another tick? Hello. Head of the factory is up ahead. The fluffer keeps begging us to kill him. Doesn't he know how important it is to continue manufacturing? Don't know. Is that church down there? Oh, weird. Hello. My life has turned into an endless line of misery and illness. I beg you, if you have any mercy in your soul, please kill me and make it as painful as possible. I hope this hurts. Mate, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think I can. I tried. Um, are there more safeguards? There must be more safeguards. Okay. You have no idea what's going on in this game, but you dig the aesthetic? I don't know either. What the hell did you run into? I don't know. This is Psychopomp. I've never heard of this. It released recently. And it is weird. 
We must have missed a safeguard. Timing on these is tight. Uh, this safeguard's still disabled. That weirds me out. Safeguard is definitely off. How do I get over there? That's where I need to get to. Oh. Why do I do that? Have any ideas? Open valley when a child looks to the sky. They will make believe but a star is plan is another impossible light shining up above. When the adult looks to the sky, they will see no light but take comfort in it. There's no danger in nothingness. When the dead looks to the sky, they will smile and close their eyes, seeing that there was light all along. Sure, this just leads to where we came in from. Yeah. There's two places that we can't figure out how to get to yet. Movement system feels a bit nauseating though. Uh, weirdly enough, I mean, I'm someone who gets very nauseous at games very easily. It seems to be fine for me. Uh, other people would need to tell you if that's the same for them though. Did I go this way? Did I go the? Did I go this way? Not. Mm. Hello. Sometimes I come to these lower catwalks just to feel closer to the void below. The smell is stronger here. Okay. Drugs. The vending machine might have water inside, but it might have something else too. The vending machine wears back in a agreeable manner. He's so cute. Last time I came, the vending machine is covered in a layer of dust. Let's go this way. Okay, there's something. Oh. Sorry. Sorry it's making you nauseous. I I am enthralled by this game, even if it's killing my viewer count. Station controls the crash of the head crush machine. Feel free to mess around with it. It's not like we're ever going to use it. Fun fact, it's a minimum of 500 PSI to crush the skull. Okay. Alright, I think now we can go crush the skull. 
That was the problem. We were crushing it with too little PSI. That was my fault, you know? I was just trying to squish his head too weakly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> his head about. All right, Mr. Head of Factory Man. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this to you, but I'm doing it to you. So here we go. Thanks to Ball. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Uh, I, I, I hope you find peace in whatever afterlife there is left. of the earth. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that will lead back to the main menu. Save game. Thank you. Uh, hard structure. In 1956, a new disease appeared in Osaka, Japan. The symptoms included a strong cough, rash, and becoming a room. Luckily, the virus was contained and eradicated. Starting in 2001, the rooms have been rented out as a bed and breakfast. Okay. Hard structures are all around us. What is a building? Hard to tell. What is a building? What forms the dirt beneath, us, beneath our feet? How does it think? How does it respirate? What does a hard structure eat? Earth is created of the buildings that we make. An elevator is like a throat for a hard structure. writhes trying to ignore the pain it's in. What a shame. Our young buildings are inflicted with a bad case of parasitic silkworms. Even if we kill all of them, it'll take months for the open source to heal. The building bed is just starting to excrete a subcutaneous cement. Basil man practices gnashing his teeth for later. Never had a backbone in life. Now I'm so much better. I am the backbone. The underlying structure. The flat face will be put to good use as a load-bearing surface. Is the developer who made this okay? <laughs> I've never seen a game that seems like a, such a cry for help. You know? Assuming these are the silkworm eggs. <laughs> Am I an asshole for thinking that? You should play Cruelty Squad then? 
I wanted to play that when it first released, but unfortunately it's a bit too late now. <sighs> Hello. What is this? A smelly cr I got sulfur. Am I going to blow something up? I remember what the ingredient is. Sulfur and something else. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that thing was tough. Okay. I know it's sulfur, but there's something else. There's another ingredient you need to make an explosive instead of just sulfur. Here, fist steps. <laughs> I, I think this game's making me paranoid, dude. The moon is watching us. I was reading- okay, this is slightly dark. So I apologize in advance, but I was reading... Itchy. I read a post the other day about a guy whose brother, little brother, got into something called quantum immortality. And the idea of quantum immortality is if you do something fatal to yourself here, you will survive in another reality, making yourself functionally immortal. It's such a strange concept. Pheromones are incredibly important to a building's lifestyle. Life cycle. When it comes time to reproduce and die, a building will produce special pheromones, black mold, to repel its current hosts and promote habitation of its children. Okay. Yeah, the poor, poor guy got so wrapped up in it, he ended up taking his own life thinking that he would become a quantum immortal in another reality because apparently your soul, your mind, your perception just transports that other reality. Yeah, that's what it seems like, Vancraft, but man, what a thing to get caught up in, eh? Poor fella. This game makes you think of stuff like this. <laughs> Hello. Why is there a sphincter? Wasn't well, this great? That's the main root sphincter, isn't it? A butte. Problem is with all these moths around, it's closed up tight, so we can't go and check out the roots of these buildings until they're gone. Okay. Stick it was tough as steel. I think that's what I need the sulfur for. Wait, can I put the sulfur on it, maybe? <sighs> There's a car. The building bed is particularly frothy today. Okay. Sometimes I dream about what it'd be like to be a building. God, wouldn't that be wonderful to feel all those people inside me? Sure. Not one of these things. God damn it. If we get hit one more time by anything, we're doomed. Hello. Poisonous crystal chemical. I 
I need health. <laughs> the inner man is somewhat like a barnacle and somewhat like a free soul. Skr, 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 skr. The inner man is touched in the best of ways. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Help, help, help. There's someone up ahead. Every single surface in a building is lined with a series of microscopic taste buds. I think you owe them a taste with all they've done for you. Hey chat, I don't want their building to taste them. Go on, rub your wall. Say thank you. <laughs> That's all there was up here. Wonderful. Grim Reaper. This is a very suspicious wall. man shakes and wobbles, dripping profusely at the front. It's making a clicking noise with its throat. Click, 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 click. Hello. Oh, that was close. The building bed looks like the moon fondly and remembers a time when there was no moon in the sky. Of course, we will never live to see our buildings flourish, but we know that. It's a thankless job, but an important one. You got some medicine here? Some drugs? No. Oh. Alright. Hi. Buddy? Oh boy, oh boy. Piss lipid boy. You think I can be your good boy? Can I be your good little boy? Piss lipid shakes and dances. The smell of you're in there. I'm gonna touch the piss lipid. Wet and jelly movement. Mm, lovely. <clears throat> Hi. Hang on. Eggs. If you can get some pesticide together, be able to kill all these damn silkworm moths at once. Bring the ingredients to that machine. Okay. Jesus. 
Jesus. Nice work. Look at those guys drop. I say you deserve a reward for your hard work. There's an egg-like thing you might like down under the buildings. I for one hate eggs. They give me the heebie jeebies. Okay. We did it. Good luck with that, Heller. I hate stuff like that. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> so we killed all the moths. Does that make us a hero? Look, the Grand Sphincter is finally open for us once again. I entered the Sphincter. Hello. This is the Great Taproot. All buildings owe to it. Every building you've ever seen is simply a genetic clone of this Taproot. Please be careful around it, it's very sensitive. Quivers, this is where all buildings in the world come from. Tapper cannot speak as it's only one part of a great colony. Tapper is covered in tiny spikes that drink from your side. See you later, Darcy. Have a lovely one. Sorry about the motion sickness. Thank you for popping by as long as you did. Uh, I feel bad. I feel like this game gave Darcy motion sickness. Other people were complaining about it as well. It's weird that I'm not getting it. Normally I'm one of the ones who gets it first. Place left. Instructions. The cure for cancer was discovered in 1994 by a man known as Marcel A. Linden. Linden was unfortunately killed in 1994 when he was impaled by a child's crayon drawing. Okay. <laughs> huh? What kind of place is this? What do these buildings do? Elevator. Down and down into the deep. Who knows what we'll find beneath? Diamond, rubies, golden ore. Head and knees of mountain you. I have never controlled a game that played like this before. This is a once in a lifetime experience, I think. Surprisingly stop the job. This is where we make instructions. Instructions for everything. Everything that's happened to you, everything you have ever done, it was all decided here. Okay. 
fascinating. This is where they made the game. Is that what they're saying? <laughs> Don't know how to feel about that. Hi! Oh god damn it, the Ascension Taratomas clog up the pipes every once in a while. It really makes things annoying to get around. Hey, grab that syringe, get samples of DNA, and we might be able to do something about that. Oh god. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Taratomas are crazy? What on earth are Taratomas? This guy has a fascination with psychology and biology and all these things. Really? What gave that away? Hello. It's a tumor, but with eyes, hairs, and teeth. Ugh. It ain't easy coming up with new instructions every day. We've got to stay creative for what's, what's going to happen to everyone. That's a lot of work. What was that? <laughs> Ow. Okay, this thing shoots at you. I'm gonna hit you in the face. <laughs> Dick. That's fun. I don't like the way she's smiling in the bottom left hand corner. Oh, I remember you talking about getting a teratoma on the ovaries and how that would be torture. That was a while ago. We, we, uh, it was a completely arbitrary, random conversation that we had on Discord. <laughs> oh, hello. You're you. We decided you're you. All right. Hi. You're an interesting feller. The old progeny holder swings and dangles precariously. I am I am the origin who decides how you will suffer. Would you like a blood clot disorder? A brain that doesn't work? It's up to me to decide that, and that's an important job. Thank you very much. Think of a better system I'd like to see you try. I know someone who'd like to have a word with you. Asshole. This is going to be a really dark and weird question, and I apologize. Is it possible for a pregnancy to turn into a tumor? Because, like, any cell can turn into a tumor. Yes. Oof. Damn. Damn. I'd assume that's a very rare condition. But, oh, man, that would suck. Oh, I remember the calcification thing that someone posted on Discord. DNA is the greatest person I've ever thought. We should have seen people before DNA. Ugh. Let's stop talking about that. That's weird. That's... <laughs> that thing was horrible, and I feel so bad for the mother. Hi. I am the origin who decides how you will decay. I've got a collection of wonderful and flawed chromosomes that I've put together for you. I put a lot of thought into this. The least you can do is be grateful. You can't blame me. I'm only working with the instructions I receive. Okay.
Another one was shooting at me from somewhere. Hi. I don't know what those things are. Can't one twin absorb the other? Yes, I know of that happening. I can't remember what it's called, but that's definitely something that can happen. So many things for ways for things just to go wrong. Humans are shockingly fragile and shockingly resilient. It is crazy how fragile and resilient we are. Like one wrong fall, you hit your head slightly wrong after tripping and falling over, you're dead. Meanwhile, other people survive, like, complete disembowelment. It's insane. <clears throat> T-C-G-A. Hello, Unsung D. Hello. Yeah, I, I hope it was just a, a random subscription you forgot about, Helen. <sighs> you having a good day today, Unsung D? Sorry, chat's very quiet. We have been streaming for almost four uh, of almost five hours playing completely random games. <laughs> it's been a fun stream. I've had a lot of fun. And for obviously, viewer count has been a lot lower since I had the ear infection, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, how do I change it? Oh. There's still a safety loss engaged somewhere. <clears throat> Find that. Seems hard enough. You can break a rib or burst an eye vessel and have cool looking vampires. Yeah. Yeah. And yet humans frequently poison themselves on a daily basis so that they can feel funny. Yeah, there are people who have skydived without parachutes and survived. Like, goddamn. Some of them not on purpose. I'm pretty sure one of the ones that survived cheated and grabbed a plane, like a, a piece of the plane though. I don't know if you would call that cheating. <laughs> Maybe call that trying to survive. Why does this place exist? Very suspicious location. There's another path up here. I know it's a challenge. I mean, it is a challenge to survive, isn't it? Challenge number one is surviving. Challenge number two is thriving. Anyone who can achieve both of those is a happy person. And I hope everyone in here is happy. Cause I'm happy, come along if you feel like a room without a roof. With so much time passing, we're really hard to remember the diseases and things we've created. So we keep it all here in case we forget. Cause I'm happy, come along if you feel. Remember, DNA is fun to manipulate, but can also be unstable. <clears throat> when creating a DNA strand, the genetic code must follow this rule to be 
Nucleotides must be properly transcribed to their proper part to create a stable. G is bonded to C and vice versa. A is bonded to T and vice versa. A mismatch will lead to corruption. The more mismatch, more genetic and stable it will become. Right. G to C, C to G, A to T, T to A. So G, C, A, T. Okay. I'll be right now, sorry for the headache. Oh, sorry, actually, don't even smiley. Headaches seem to be catching right now. I had a mild headache earlier. Uh, one of my friends had a, her first or second migraine over the weekend. Not nice. Uh, down here, right? Yeah. Not nice at all. You've had a headache all day? Maybe it's a solar flare. Maybe it's the sign that it's the end of the universe. Who knows? Let's not worry about it. <laughs> I just realized these are alleles. That's what Emberath was blabbering on about in his usual nonsensical way. Those are alleles. Sorry, nobody listens to Emberath anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, okay, so we need to do the offset, so. So T, C, G to A. <laughs> Almost like the biochemist would know. What happened to the party? What did you do? You injected something into the primordial information, didn't you? It's all dying. It's all spreading and dying. There's no more DNA. There's no more instructions. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to take this and go home. Got an egg of the earth. That's why you're not meant to strain when you when you pass fecal matter, Elder Duff. Bad for you. Are we going to descend even deeper? How long is this game? What do we do? No more DNA. We are. Oh, ephemeral location. Some creatures do not like light. Well, tip. Scientists have discovered that humans from a hundred thousand... Oh, we already... Yeah, we already read that one. Natural History Museum. Hello. The first sentient species on our planet were humans. These hairy bipeds were highly intelligent and are thought to have used tools. They were highly emotive, making them very fun. The last human died in captivity years ago, and none have been seen since. Okay. After the humans went extinct, the Thraits evolved. These creatures lived in small societies and did nothing of note. They were strong and stoic, which proved very annoying. The last Thraite died in captivity years, years ago, and we are better for it. Well, that's mean. I thought the threats were kind of adorable. I wanted to pet them. Also, they're still a threat After alive. After the went extinct, the humans evolved. Alright. That was the Natural History Museum, folks. Wasn't that fun? Here we 
we go. There's another ephemeral location. Every building from hospitals to homes contains a room that acts as the heart of the building, delivering blood and nutrients to the building's extremities. Trying to find your house's heart. Human seed bed. Hello. Hi. Old and stiff. The human is just starting to learn word order. It'll be a while before it's sent to the surface. Made real learning. Real made real learning. Real made real learning. Real made real. Okay. Day open score total eat food. What open tell score work day seven two overhill child scream baby telling music culture. Caricature caricature. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just learned his new word and is very excited. Mom, I'm hurt. Mom, I'm hurt. Help me. I need help. I need help. I need. Why would you do that? You're making me mad. You're a good friend. Would you like to eat food? Okay. Uh-huh. That museum could use cool stuff like dinosaurs? I don't know if dinosaurs exist in this world, Fen. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure they don't, considering there's two Earths. Perfecting imitation. Fingers looking for hammers. <laughs> Your favorite dino is a di triceratops? Mine's an Austroraptor, because they got the floofy tails. The queen of dragonflies is sleeping and smiling. A man claiming- oh, we already read that one. Where are we? Plesiosaurs are cool. Nessie's supposed to be a plesiosaur, isn't she? Simple person moves and dances as if they were older than writing. We are not convinced of you. You do not seem to understand anything. These doors only open for you once you come to understanding this world and what makes it. Simple person is thinner than a single app. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that person was friendly. Maybe I shouldn't have killed the simple person. <laughs> Oops. You're obsessed with the Loch Ness Monster as a kid? Why? No, I mean, yeah, just like genuinely curious, why? Okay. Why the Loch Ness Monster of all things? You're American, shouldn't you be into the Geordie whatever it is? Paragon is something that cannot be destroyed with a thought, but can be destroyed with a hammer. I am the Paragon of people. People are where it all comes together. Every layer builds upon layers and becomes a single person. Those layers can now look back on former layers and comprehend them. People are the most important aspect. They form You finally understand people. Okay. Welcome back, Corgi.
finally understand people, huh? Okay. What are we gonna understand next? Buildings? No worries, Ava. I hope your dinner's good. Sorry this stream is continuing on so long, folks. I, I, I apologize. I know you all have stuff to do. I really appreciate you showing up and enjoying. Oh yeah, you grew up in Japan. <laughs> How do I keep forgetting that? <laughs> You've told me like eight times. I'm sorry. It's really dark in here. I've never seen the River Monsters. I've never watched River Monsters. Hello. Uh-oh. Okay. Interesting. Ah. Nice. Oh. You have no idea what Plesiosaur was until you saw a water horse as a kid? No. Oh. There, there's a lot of TV shows that ca come out now on the National History Channel or whatever it's called, apparently, that are just garbage, so. I am the Paragon of Flesh. I used to fly over the land, invigorating the muscles and sinew of the world. You know the meaning of the flesh? The meat is our souls given anchor. I finally understand flesh. Fascinating. Teleporters down there this time. <laughs> what, what, a, what a fascinating experience. two understandings but I don't know where to get them because we've been that way and we've been that way unless there's like alternate paths along these routes which is possible I think we went left last time so let's try going right hi are you a hostile Tudor, Tudor, Tudor. There's a planet within one other place. When realms come together and force into a ground shape, we enter into a later phase of the world. From Sila Sila, huh? Okay. Okay. The History Channel, that's it. Yeah, the History Channel. That's the one that everyone memes on. The thing about disturbing art in video games, you know, it's supposed to be created by a tortured mind, is that someone still has to create the tortured experience. <laughs> Which means there's a tortured mind somewhere anyway. Art is beautiful, isn't it? You'll gain appreciation when you're old enough. We are formed of art, art is formed of us. Can you even think of anything higher? Okay. That looks dangerous. Off in the distance, you just got like. <laughs> oh dear. What the hell? What is that? 
Is that the aspect of the soul? Hello. A usurper here in the oldest part of kingdom. Ha, what a joke. You can never weave a story like that. You can never create something like this. A true monarch would never be ugly like you. Uh-huh. Have you played I Have No Mouth But I Must Scream? No. No, I have not. Bizarre. I'm assuming this game reminds you of it somehow. There's a key. Based on a book of the same name. The plot sounds super good, but hard. Oh. Christ. Turns out we have leftover lasagna, so you don't have to pee that one. Hell yeah! Lasagna's delicious. Um. Hmm. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? I think we need to go back up. Isn't ego something that Froud, something Froud, can't remember his name. That was, he was like the psychologist that was obsessed with ego and wanting to have sex with your parents. Sigmund, it's Sigmund Freud, right? That was his whole shtick. Ego ID and super ego. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he kind of considered a complete lunatic? <laughs> or am I off here? Crackfield git. Well, there you go. That answers that question. A wanker. He is a laughing stock, yeah. I'm assuming someone listened to him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so famous. Had an obsession with wieners. I mean, so did, um, what's his face? And he's a celebrated artist. Geiger. Been to his home in London, had a gift shop with things in it. <laughs> ah, fun, fun, fun. Look at our happy little girl on the bottom left there. Early psychology listened to him and tortured a ton of people. Like, but why torture? What's going on down there with that blue pill? I don't know if there's like a special museum I want to visit. Like, I really enjoy um, Lovecraftian themes, but I don't think I'd want to visit a Lovecraft museum. It just seems kind of boring. You know? I don't want to go to a weenie museum either, Fen. Um. Hmm. What is glucose therapy? Da Vinci Museum was fun to visit. Ooh. You know what? I would like to go to the Da Vinci Museum. That sounds cool. He had so many cool ideas. We're living symbols. We were born of the f one of the four aspects. The deepest aspect. That's, this makes us the guardians of the world. We will decide what goes through and what comes to pass. It is our right. Try this, dick. Those are a bunch of pompous twats. I like how I've become super casual about murder now because of these things.
Hello. Oh, that's creepy. Did the ball sacks. They look like uh, kangaroo babies. You know, little joeys that crawl out of the kangaroo vaginas and then crawl into the pouches to suckle and basically live in a surrogate womb. Kind of remind me of those weird little bean things. You're gonna upload this game to YouTube? It'll be on the Unchained channel for sure. I don't think this is main channel material. As utterly bonkers and bizarre as it is. Hello. Seasons go round and round, but what gives birth to them? Trees climb into the sky, but what gives birds to them? I don't know, but you seem nice compared to the other ones. Kangaroo Vaginas was on the throat today. Sorry. This is a weird game. You gotta find things to talk about while playing it. Ow. Hello. Are you also a pompous twat? I am the paragon of symbols. I feel the geometry of the world, the mathematical crash that appears behind me. Colors, shapes, lines and curves, the digit meat stuff that makes you up. Read it and weep, kill me to learn. Okay. Oh, I gotta make it all the way back to get to teleport out. <laughs> oh dear. Damn. Is that our first death? No, I recognize this. This was our second death. Do we have to do that whole section again? Aww. Ooh. I think we have to do that whole section again. Special shower. Interesting. I guess we're leaving. That's an oddly realistic looking hammer. I'm gonna do this all again. God damn it. <laughs> Game needs a, a save button, a quick save button. Right, I'll actually be right back. I need a quick bio break. Sorry. All right, we're back. The game just crashed. <laughs> All right. Try that again. I don't know how I managed to break every game I play, but hey ho. My ears crackling every time I swallow. Weird. <laughs> I hate crackling ears, it's the worst. Okay, it's not the worst, but it's terrible.
Eat pop rocks? We don't have pop rocks in the UK. I don't think. Okay. We'll do the left hand ones first. Hello. Just a different name? Yeah. Anything that's called candy, anything that has the word candy in the name, just makes me think that it's absolutely terrible for you and shouldn't be consumed by humans at any point ever. Rocks are so good. Are they terrible for you though? Your sister makes some cool cupcakes with frosting and pop rocks on top. I haven't made cupcakes in ages. I don't really see the need to make it though. In a dairy milk bar right now with some in it, jelly beans too. That sounds horrendously unhealthy on Minecraft. Having said that, the only thing I've eaten today is a packet of Pringles, so, you know, I can't really talk. I'll probably throw a ready meal in the microwave or something later. Is one of the best Cadbury bars? No, the best Cadbury bar is a caramel, but straight out of the freezer. Or the fridge. Fridge is probably better. I store all my chocolate bars in the fridge because it's just tastier that way. You'd kill for a Kinder Egg? You get Kinder Bars that are just Kinder Egg chocolate in a bar. The matter is created of four aspects. Four aspects made from the original two thinkers. So these four aspects, they harness the raw energy of violence into the world. But <laughs> it's always the best part. Can't have the toy in the US, Enverath. It's illegal to have gambling and toys. But you're allowed to have gacha boxes in video games. That's perfectly legal. Hello. There was a time where the Paragons flowed gently over the Sulphur Plains, a time before humans, a time before Thraits. You get Andy's chocolate? I don't know. How did I miss that guy? Oh, I meant I, I wasn't clicking on him. Sorry, everything's so red it was hard to see. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Hello. I am the paragon of concepts. Concepts give birth to symbols. Symbols give birth to concepts. Without each other, they're worthless. You're a collection of fresh, fresh concepts. So what does- does this blue water heal me? Yes, okay. Just very slowly. Just 
You know kinder means kid, so technically called kid eggs. I just had a horribly cursed thought, and I don't know if I should say it out loud. I'll let you decide, chat. Horribly cursed thought, out loud or not? All I'm thinking of is, if you're a cannibal, is there such a thing as a delicacy called human caviar? You know how they harvest like fish eggs to make caviar? <laughs> well, do you think there's such a thing? Aren't our eggs super duper small? Well, you just gotta harvest like 10, 10, 10 sets. Okay, this is the one that killed me last time. There we go. How'd I see? I told you it was a cursed thought! Thankfully, probably something that's never actually been attempted or will be attempted in human history. So we got that going for us. We already talked to this guy, so I'm just gonna hit him with a hammer. Fish caviar is fertile, right? I don't know. I don't know. I've never had... I've never wanted to have caviar. It just seems... Not worth it. You know? It just seems kind of gross. Might have given someone the idea that. It's something I've thought about before, which is the worst thing. <laughs> it's not. You've had caviar? I don't know, it just never appealed to me. Um, oh, oops. Uh, wait, which way do I go? That way leads to there, that way leads to there. Okay, we need to head back. Just fish in ball form? Nah. No, it just never appealed to me. I mean, I don't eat a lot of fish anyway. And I probably won't eat a lot of fish for the rest of my life, except for tuna. Um because the fishing industry is one of the most damaging and destructive industries in human history. Ever had escargot? Nope, never had escargot. Also another thing that just doesn't super appeal to me. Probably because there are parasites in slugs and snails that are incurable and will kill you instantly. Not instantly, but it will be a very painful death. There was a, 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 a university student who ate. Do you like sushi? Never had it. It was a university student that ate a slug for $20 on a night out as a bet and then died in horrendous pain with the doctors unable to do anything from a parasite that was in the slug. <laughs> Raccoon ringworm. Is that what it was? It's awful. Did he eat it raw? Yes, he ate it raw. I just don't see the point. I don't see the point in eating stuff like that. We have perfectly good food. Why is my phone going off? Okay. Yeah, I can't grab it from here. Gotta go around. Monsters Inside Me is a fun show. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm completely risk adverse, but I definitely am to an extent.
nightmares. You had sushi for lunch? I've never had sushi. I've always wanted to have sushi. I'm assuming sushi's delicious. Because people are always talking about how good sushi is. Same with prawns. Oh, for God's sake, it's too late for me to order a Chinese again. <laughs> One day! One day I'll be able to have a Chinese. There's a really nice Chinese place opened up here recently that I've had once. You like try horse and rabbit at some point? Rabbit's very bland and uninteresting. It can be quite gamey, but compared to something like pheasant or venison, it's just not there. Hare is a little bit more tasty than rabbit, but rabbit's just kind of meh. Um, it's also lacking in a lot of fat, so it's not very good to cook. Hare is quite nice. Venice is quite nice. I've never had horse. Hare has a fair about fair fair amount more meat on it. Can you starve eating only rabbit? Yeah, there's a, a syndrome that you get if you eat only rabbit. All right. I don't see the point in eating veal. It just seems unnecessarily cruel. <laughs> Killing something when it's a baby so you can eat it. Same with lamb. Hello. Eating dehydrate, eating potato leaves. You can also dehydrate drinking salty water. I would like to try mutton. Mutton sounds sounds tasty. Aberrant location. Can we already go to the aberrant location? Yeah, we already did this. I guess we'll do it again, because the game crashed, so I assume it removed its progress from us. Hello. Goodbye. You like lime shawarma? I like donor kebabs, if that counts right now. I love, love, love alukima, but that's mince and potatoes. I've never had gyro. All right, entrance. Cut your hunger now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm falling. I feel like it's been coming for a while, but it never does. Deeper into the earth, deeper into dirt and rock and veins and sinew. Real work type. There's a Mariana Trench under every town. We're in the Mariana Trench. Apparently we can breathe underwater in this thing. Hello. The girl's structure feels happy. Feels like tough beef jerky. The girl's structure feels happy. I'll leave. I'll let it live. I'll let it live. Nothing. That one seems less happy. Nope, it's still happy. Okay.
to make some improvised nachos? Well, you need Doritos or tor or um, <coughs> tortilla chips. Are they called in America? I can't remember. You need to be. You need Doritos or stuff like for that. I do have chips in the freezer, so I can just throw them in the air fryer and have them with um, cheese and bacon. Hello. You have pretty, pretty purple eyes. Everyone looks at reverence to the end of the show. Behold the throne of the queen, and upon its sacred dermis, which she shed when entering her great metamorphosis, step lightly, this is a hallowed place. Great elder, Get a bicycle, Ella. My bicycle still hasn't arrived. Yeah, I had one, but it burnt in fire. Get a new one. You ever had Yule Log? I've never had Yule Log, no. Does this lead to the other side? I think that just leads to the other side. Okay. Center of the Earth. Oh, there's the little Earth things I rescued. Reach the center. This is it, the life meat of the world. I see it and I somehow know exactly what to do. Finger movements and speaking. Words I know but have never heard. A warmth, a love, I will make you anew, born to flesh from ash and clay. There you are, my wonderful child. This world has been changed, it's been twisted into something it's not. It will change more, perhaps that is inevitable. Let us awaken your sibling. There are no secrets now, I see everything within my domain. Thank you, dear Helmet. You were perfect in every way, baby. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's leave this hole and never look back. Oh, she's happy for once. Oh, nope, there's the evil smile. Psycho Pump. Does anybody have a clue what the hell was going on in this game? Anybody? around for the song? Sorry, buddy. I, I, I'm worried the song's going to be copyright. Oh, there's an exclamation mark next to continue now. Ooh, forbidden location. We went to the ab aberrant location, but this is a forbidden location. Hmm. Interstellar phenomenon. I don't feel that I need to introduce you to the Calvin before the interstellar phenomenon was making headlines for the last month. One only has to look to the sky to see the bizarre sight. Four brilliant lights leading what looks like a trail of absolute darkness across the night sky. The phenomenon has elicited all sorts of reactions from wonder to outright panic. Many religious leaders have pointed to the Calvin 4 as a sign for jubilation or of end times to come. Why are they really? The answer is we don't really know. The Calvin 4 were first discovered by Harris Kalman, a worker at the Green Bank Observatory in Green Bank, West Virginia. At the time, they were characterized as a set of several superheated interstellar objects moving, at speed, moving through space at speeds previously unheard of. What of that dark space behind them? Though it might look as if the stars have simply disappeared, leading scientists assure the stars are most likely still there, though their light has been absorbed and hidden from us by way of a phenomenon known as Heith Nihadil absorption. Lights absorbed into the trail of carbon four and expelled out of the sides known as the photon edge. Okay.
connection to subject lost. Tracking alternative subject, alternative subject found, time to wake up. How nice to meet you. I do say, my good sir, your face seems to have broken and become abstracted. No matter, it happens to the best of us. We have more important things at hand. I am the king of all dogs, and I bring you a very important warning. Look to the skies, do you not feel it? When you set your eyes upon the bloody earth above, do you not see it? Something terrible has awoken. Soon it will descend upon the landscape and bring about utmost destruction. I must beseech you, you must put an end to it. Only you have the power to do so. I know a business-minded individual like yourself will have no problem figuring this out. We must make haste. I have some associates that I'll introduce you to right away. Come along now, there's no time to lose. Never get ahead in life if you doubt yourself for even one moment. The game's still continuing? <laughs> King of all dogs is a smart mayor of confidence, a real boardroom kind of canine. I apologize for this arbitrary holdup. I spoke to my compatriots earlier and told them we would be meeting the exact time of their own hair. Did you go look for them once you find them all and continue to our place of meeting? The dog hair sticks badly to velvet gloves. You will refrain from petting the dog. Careful, a storm is brewing. I can feel it in my carpus. There's great evil hanging over the land. Alva, may the king watch over you. Never scout is too proud to be touched. Uh, ah, I know you. You're that human we saw at the hotel. What are you doing all the way out here? This place is safe for someone like you. That's the dog that split, yeah. That is the same dog, and Brath, you can see the skin split. That seems more effective than the, the hammer. Why would I go down there? A flower is a special thing. Its beauty is captivating, yet it brings a stench of death, a deadly poison. What kind of flower can I give you, sir? Ah, the dog wants me? I'll be there. A soft touch and handshake it lingers longer than you would like. walking in this level. <laughs> so we go down there next. Hello. 
little it's a little girl child everyone loves puppets especially puppets themselves oh good it's you I was getting so bored here I'll meet you there uh, by the way what do you think about puppets uh, I don't know can I touch you surprisingly firm handshake nice. hope you're having a good day Fluffy planet that we're talking about hello are you the mother and shake the flows through your hands mother oh well, hello i've been expecting you tell me do you prefer pythons or constrictors i prefer constrictors there's so many kinds of snakes each more wonderful than the last hmm, i might need it i'll head there now mother the father the child and the dog huh King of dogs has interesting bedfellows. What about the goldfish? Goldfish got eaten by the dog in breath. Planet's gone. Hello. Where's the dog? Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Oh, there's the planet. They did just sequel bay us. You were right, in breath. <laughs> Press this button in your inventory to activate third person mode. There's a third person mode in this game? Congrats. What the hell is this? A 
Oh. I'm so damn tired of this. How much is there in this game? Hello. Cable spinal fluid at 80%. This is this isn't the third person Moldova. This is a different area. There, I am libido. Why is my libido here? Okay. Intre Interesting. Can't go through here. Oh, that's what you need the mind keys for. Okay, interesting. Let's try out this third person mode. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good, I hope you're doing well. I'm boring here, I'm dying of boredom. I can't stand a desert blow. What's the status? Queen? He's awake, but still dormant. Try and hide. Doesn't matter though, her progress is perfect. What about the other one? King is still fast asleep like a big, dumb, snoring baby. God, do not wake- Good, do not wake him up until I tell you to. Last thing we need to deal with both of them at the same time, not until everything is ready. So the character we're playing as, the girl we're playing as, is the queen. We gained power, formed a chrysalis, and then were reborn as something really powerful. And then the boy. The boy. That's the dog. The boy is the king. He needs to transform as well. Is this channel secure? Should be. Not like it matters. Nobody listening can do anything. How utterly what a bizarre game. What an utterly, utterly bizarre game. And there's still more. When nobody was looking, the Queen's chrysalis hatched. I mean, she's out there, who knows where. Can't help but fear. There are vermin dogs who lead her astray. I must have faith the Queen will return. I think I'm your Queen. I got to pet her! Oh my god! Her skin is rougher than you expected! There's another one. Jesus Christ. How many transient locations are there? Oh, this is the same one. Hello. Okay. Uh, I think we are done. With Psycho Pomp Gold. I don't know if I'll ever know what the hell to think about that game. <laughs>